Alright guys, many people start lifting because they've watched the movie and the main character has a great physique. And they think to themselves, if a human can look like this, they also want to look like that. And because of that, they start working out, eating right, getting good recovery and doing everything which will help them to look like this one day. But then, sooner or later, they realize it's actually harder than you think and they start speculating that these actors might potentially take performance enhancing drugs. And now, because of that, I'm making this video because I actually want to show you that we can achieve most of the physiques that we see in Hollywood. Now, of course, there are still actors who are taking hormonal stuff. I mean, we can also read this in the articles where some actors reveal what they actually took. But the reason for that is oftentimes because to just have to get in shape really quick and fitness and having a great physique is all about time and consistency. Because of that I will now go over a few famous Hollywood actors which have a great physique which many people admire to actually show you what is possible to achieve naturally and what isn't possible and only can be achieved with super physiological hormonal levels which we can't achieve naturally. And now I don't even want to waste your time and I will right away start with Zac Efron. Now personally I have to say I've watched Baywatch like 3 times. It's a great movie and of course Zac Efron looks great in it. But as someone who's in the fitness industry and is analyzing physiques every day, I can say he doesn't have the body to actually be a bodybuilder and go on stage. Not even in classic physique where it's all about conditioning and not even about the size. Because I mean when we look at Zack, yes he looks great but he isn't a huge guy, he doesn't have loads of muscles, he's just very lean. And of course this is still difficult to achieve but actually way easier when you only have to focus on conditioning and not on the size of your body. I mean looking at his legs, I personally don't even think he was doing squats for the movie Baywatch. So if you're someone who wants to achieve a physique like Zac Efron's, then it's all about eating the right foods and cutting down. So most males are around about 20% body fat. So I would say if you're dieting for 3 to 4 months, you will be able to actually achieve a physique like his. Because you actually don't need to build a lot of muscle, it's just all about getting the fat of your body. And then your body will start looking like his. Perfect, and then moving on to the second famous actor and it's Sylvester Stallone. Personally, the movie Rocky was actually the one which actually motivated me to start lifting. And I've heard from lots of people that this actually also was the movie which got them into lifting. And therefore, I'm really excited to break down his physique. Now, when we look at Sylvester Stallone in the movie Rocky, we right away see he has more mass than in comparison to like Zac Efron. He is still lean, but not as shredded as a human could possibly be. He just has some ab definition, then some good obliques, but it's all about having also a good amount of muscle on his frame. But as someone who's now been lifting for about 4 to 5 years and has lots of experience in this niche, I can confidently say that it is possible to achieve this physique naturally. Well, I need to mention that Stallone actually said in an interview once that he took SARMs, so he actually wasn't natural and hasn't achieved this physique just with pure hard work. I think the reason for that might have been because he needed to get in the shape pretty fast and didn't have time to lean down even more. But now, if you're someone who wants to stay natural, which I do recommend you to stay, but you still want to look like Stallone in the movie Rocky, then you will just need a bit more time than he probably needed to look like this. So I would plan about 2-3 to three years of hard and consistent work in the gym and also in the kitchen. So you need to be eating clean to actually look like this. But it is achievable naturally and actually not even so hard to sustain a physique like this. Great, but now moving on a step further where Stallone was in the movie Rambo and here it looked like the Sarms did more of their work because he looked bigger and leaner and that's very superstitious. And I mean he also openly said that he was taking Sarms so we don't even have to be mad at Stallone, we just need to be aware of it. Now do I still think that we can achieve a physique like this naturally? Yes, I do think, but for a physique like this 
we need some elite genetics. You can't have average genetics. When you're average, you have to take steroids to look like this. I would say the best of the best natural bodybuilders in classic physique look like this. So it's not just the average guy who goes to the gym every day and eats some chicken rice and broccoli. You really need to put a lot of work into this to be able to have a physique like that. Great, and then the next person is Michael B. Jordan in the movie Creed. I've heard from many people that this is their idol and they want to look like him one day. And when we look at his physique, he has a good build. He has bigger muscles than Zac Efron and Stallone in the movie Rocky. So he's overall just bigger. But I do need to mention he isn't as conditioned as the other two guys. So he has some app definition, but definitely isn't sub 10% body fat. I would say he's more like 15% body fat and that's way easier to sustain. So if you want to achieve a physique like his then you should focus more on building muscle. So you should start eating a bit more food. Of course don't cheat at this point just eat more of healthy and good foods and then I would say in about three to four years you'll be able to have a frame and physique like Michael B. Jordan's. Perfect and then another huge name Chris Hemsworth. He again has lots of different roles and in some of them I would say he's natural but also in many of them he clearly isn't. When we take the movie Thor as an example then this demonstrates pretty well how an actor looks like who's taking steroids. Here the thing is he's just lean and huge. Nobody can achieve this size naturally. Of course, I also think they did a lot with editing on the photos and videos of Chris Hemsworth in Thor. But still, in the clips where he's training for the movie Thor, he's already looking huge and this wasn't even his best form. But personally, I think most people don't even want to look like this. It's just too massive, like an open bodybuilder and the females don't even like this anymore. It's just for the boys. Alright, but maybe you're someone who is natural but is prioritizing the size of his body and not the conditioning. So it's all about how big your muscles are. And for this, we also have a few natural examples. Like for example, Mark Wahlberg in the movie pain and gain. Here we can see a good build. He looks huge, has a big bicep and overall the bro physique that we can see in the gym. So everybody knows he has a strong bench press and can deadlift a lot of weights. But because he has such a big size, he also had to sacrifice his leanness and conditioning. I would guess his body fat around 20% body fat. Most people wouldn't even need to cut it down for a physique like this. It just all would be about building muscle. So bulk up and lift heavy weights. And then after a few years he will be able to have a size like this. You don't even need elite genetics. Your body will respond so well when you eat loads of food and lift heavy weights. Great. And now to finish off, we again have another example which is in between the huge guys and the extremely shredded guys and it's Henry Cavill in the movie Superman. Here I personally think he looks great. He has this really manly look with the chest hair and I need to mention that he has a superior frame over most people. So his shoulders are very broad and this isn't because of the muscles. It's just his genetics and how his body is structured. And yes, of course, it still took him lots of work to look like this. You can't be doing the wrong things to have a physique like this, but still he isn't shredded down to his bones and and he doesn't look like a stage ready bodybuilder. He just had some good genetics to start with and is probably going three times a week to the gym and combines this with a good diet. So this is definitely achievable as a natural lifter. Great, and that's it. These are some of the most common actors in Hollywood, which have great bodies and many people want to look like them. Now you actually know what's achievable as a natural lifter and on what you should be focusing on. To finish off, I need to mention that we see these actors only in the best light and sometimes even with a pump. I mean, they want to look their very best in a scene. They don't just wake up in the morning and film a movie. So we shouldn't think that those people are walking around like this 24 seven. This can help us to put everything in perspective and actually have a better feeling about ourselves when we look into the mirror. Now, if you found this video helpful and interesting, then please like and subscribe. And also comment down below on which actors I should make the next video on. Then, thank you for watching and see you in the next one.